Welcome back to Painting and Decorating. Um, what a great room I've got to paint here. So this is part one of emulsion in the room. Um, and where to start, procedures, things like that. So first off is overalls. Overalls on. So the first stage in any room when you come in is remove as much furniture as you can. And this room's pretty good, customers done well with this. We've only got the unit here to uh, deal with. And I've moved it out from the wall, and that's going to stay there. Because I can just about work over the top of it either side. The next stage is to remove any curtains or lampshades and things like that. So I'll just give you a quick look around the room and show you what I've got to remove. And then after that, I'm actually going to hoover up and then it's a bucket of warm, soapy water and give everything a wipe down, get rid of all the muck on anything and wipe any marks off and things like that. So that's the first stage to do. And then you can put dust sheets down. So we'll have a quick look. Let's start with the light fixings. So you, you do have to remove those. You can't be trying to paint around that. It's uh, difficult. She's usually got a nut at the back there. Be really careful. Um, so I've got three of those in this room. <coughs> and then once I've removed those, I'm going to take the curtains down. Uh, one thing I always tend to do is put my dust mask on because you just dust off everything. So these again, quite easy to remove. Got a little grub. Undo the grub, take the curtains off, take the pole off, and then that's probably not too bad actually. That fit into probably paint round, so I'm going to leave that because uh, sometimes if you remove them, you can loosen the plugs and things like that. So if you can leave it, leave it. If you can't, take it off. But I'll definitely be able to make sure that's nice and clean. Okay, so. I'm going to crack on with that and then you'll see it once the dust sheets are down. When it comes to hoovering up, don't just hoover the floor up. Get to turn the attachments and go around the ceiling and the walls. You see all the cobwebs. Try and vacuum as much up as you can before you go around with your damp cloth. Um, just makes life so much easier just go around everything it's also a good thing to note at this point any damage in the room um, light sockets you know the floor certain things around the plastic window just look for scratches or anything like that so when you come into the finish of the job you don't look at something and go oh I caused that because that's one of the worst things you, you can do. Right, that's the hoovering up done. Next stage <clears throat> is to give everything a wipe down with a damp cloth. But you've got to be careful of certain things because these beams, they're that rough that if you wipe them with a cloth, they're just going to pick up everything off the cloth. So you best um, be really careful with them. Give them the dust off with your brush, that's about it. Don't th think the customer wants these painting, um, although certain areas are going to get touched up. I'll just show you what I mean. Um, round, round the edges, there's some paint on certain bits. You can see there, so they're just going to get touched up. So generally the beams aren't getting done. But if I was going to do them, I'd give them a light sand down and then a coat of varnish. Um, if your preference, you've got matte, satin, gloss, but that's up to you. Right, okay, yeah, wiping down now, um, and then I'm going to put plastic sheets over the window. So, not a bad view out there, is it? Right, let's crack on. Okay, a bucket of lukewarm water, and I've not filled it up too much. And 
a spot of fairy liquid. And I mean a spot, because it goes far. Mix that up. Now you can go around and wipe all the tops of the skirting boards and round the plastic window. You can clean everything off, get rid of any marks and grubby bits. And uh, round the radiator, look at that. It's not been done for a while. Um, so yeah, give everything a good wipe off the skirting boards. And this is even before you start sanding and doing anything. A lot of it will come off. A lot of these black marks like that will all come off. See? Don't paint over anything like that. Difference. Right, so I'm going to crack on and get that done. That's the wiping down done now. Uh, about to put some plastic over the window. And I use this plastic on this roll. Really good. You can measure your window, measure what you need, cut it off, and then I use some insulation tape to stick round. I, I do find this is the best stuff to use to stay on the plastic. Plastic on the window now. And I've draped it over the varnish sill to make life a bit easier. But what I'm going to do next is put a dust sheet on top of her um, and that is to protect the sill from anything dropping on it really. Um, and then the next stage is to cover up the units and then you can put some dust sheets on the floor. I mean sometimes I'll put the dust sheets on the floor first and then cover up the units and tuck the uh, sheets underneath. There's various ways of doing it. With your dust sheets, open them up fully and then double them up. Always double up on your sheets. Even three sometimes. Um, it's not too bad in here because if you did spill some it, you've got a good chance of cleaning it up quickly. Carpet, a lot different. All the sheets are down now. Uh, covered up the door well the doors as well and I've covered up the radiator all the floors covered up fireplace so I'm ready to start painting the ceiling now <clears throat> on this job the customers doesn't want too much doing to the room um, there's a little bit of sand in here and there needs doing a bit of filling but generally it's just a repaint now I've dusted everything off washed everything down the only things really I've got to sand are the flat walls and the casings uh, and possibly the doors as well if the customer's having the doors done. I'm not sure, uh, she's not decided. So first off, I'm going to start painting the ceiling. <laughs> now, it's not for the faint hearted this, but I'm just going to brush it. I've got two brushes just in case that's too big. Um, and I've got my two inch paint kettle and um, this is the paint I'm using, bit of, uh, bit of good stuff. There's other good quality paints on the market but I do like Gelux. So I'm going to stir it up first. I don't think it'll need thinning because if this ceiling actually goes in one coat the customer is happy with that. She said, put one coat on, I'll have a look. If it looks okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm not going to thin it out to make sure it's got good coverage. And it, it does say on the uh, actual paint that if it's relatively clean um, and, you're not, and you're going over white, then it usually will only take one coat. That's how good this paint is. I'm going to start in this corner. Um, I'm actually going to bring two in at the same time, so it's, it's a bit quicker. So smart, starting off with a small brush, 
I'm going to overlap the paint slightly onto the wall. You never really want to go too much onto the wall, um, especially with white, because when you come to put your colour on, you just find it harder to cover up. Now, I'm going to use my small brush for the minute while I'm working in this corner. And then once I get out of the corner, I'm going to swap over to my big brush. Now you could use masking tape for this, but again, it can also cause a lot of problems using tape. Um, it's obviously more expense as well involved in it. This is actually going on quite well. Now I've also got a bucket of water and a clean cloth on standby because the last thing you want is to be catching the wood and not have a cloth ready to wipe it off as you're going because you're just going to be up and down your steps. So really, this is just about taking your time because there's no rush to get this ceiling done. You're just here for the duration. <clears throat> so I actually think this is gonna go in one coat because the ceiling is like an off-white really. It looks a bit, um, and it's covering really well. It's not being too bad at all. Now I'm going to try my big brush because if I don't like this, I'm just going to swap back to my other brush. Yeah, it's possibly too big this. So, you know, people go on about, why well, you use a bigger brush? <laughs> well, they're, they're not painters. You just bashes, get it done. See, sometimes using a smaller brush, you actually have more control over it. Um, and you can put just the right amount of paint on, rather than putting too much on and then having to spread it out. And you can't spread it out because, you know, the area is not big enough. It's just sometimes not use, not worth using a big brush. So back to my small brush. I'm going to put that in my bucket of water in a minute so it doesn't dry out on me. Right. Well, this isn't going to take too long. I reckon a couple of hours and a stiff neck. <laughs> you, you could masking, put masking tape on like I say, but you've got the actual, the time involved putting the masking tape up and then your edges, you never get them right. So at the end of the day, you might as well just take your time, chill out. And just enjoy the painting and usually as I do stick the radio on and you're all right look at the difference in the colour. Right, 
that. So I'll just show you the difference in colour. And a bit of a close up on the cutting in. Right, you can just see the colour change there. Well, I'm saying colour change, you can just see the new paint. And that's the old. So there is a definite difference. Um, let's just show you a bit of cutting in there. Again, it's not easy, but take your time. And you don't have to go right up to the beam. Just keep slightly away from it. And it's not easy with a camera in your hand. But there you go. Right, I'll crack on and uh, I'll finish this ceiling. And then you can have a look at the finish. Wow, that's took some doing. Roughly, I'd say about two, well, three hours. Uh, I did actually add a little bit of water to the paint just to ease it a little bit to make life easier on the cutting in. But what a difference. It looks really good. So that's it for this video. Next video is going to be painting the walls. So, I'll see you in the next video.